What's up guys, it's your buddy Collector Dude Spider-Verse 800, and today I'm finally gonna do a movie review on the latest DreamWorks movie, and the fourth film in the Kung Fu Panda franchise, Kung Fu Panda 4, Skadoosh. So what basically the plot is about this movie is this Poe um, meets this fox, I first thought it was a wolf, but it's actually a fox this wolf, fox named zen and there's this um kind of like snake thingy who is actually uh who is actually who can actually shape form into any kind of animal and even into and even they can even and she can even um shape shift into the characters like poe like we saw in the trailer um, she's also, uh, the villain of the film, and, and she also took, like, one of, she also took the villain's powers, especially Tae Young's powers, um, so, yeah, so that's base. I don't want to give it too much because of, of major spoilers, so, yeah, I don't, I don't want to give spoilers of this movie because this movie, it's literally March 19th, so, this movie, like, came out, like, a couple weeks ago, so I don't want to spoil anything. But, I gotta say, this has got to be the best Kung Fu Panda movie in the franchise, period. Yeah, how you like that in Final Fantasy 2001, Kung Fu Panda 4 is the best, um, is way better than Trolls Band Together. Meh! Yeah. E heck, even I find this movie way much better than Trolls Band Together. And note, I am not watching Megamind 2, which is on Peacock. I'm not watching that because the animation looks so bad and a lot of people sing it sad. So I refuse to watch that movie. Um, the action scenes are really good. Yeah, the action scenes, especially the climax, are really good. Yes, and by the way, Jack Black's version of Hit Me Baby One More Time... It's perfect. I love it. It's it's way better than let me take you to a better place. Yeah, I like that in South Fan Tales and One. I said I said hit me baby one more time from Jack Black is way better better is way better than let me take you to a better place from Trolls Band Together. Meh Yeah, this is what he gets for ranting on Frozen 2, being ranting ranting on my homie. Lambo Rock Strikes Back. You don't disrespect my homie Lambo Rock Strikes Back like that, bro. Like, come on. Yeah, that's payback. Where I said that. Yeah, it's, even though I like that song, Better Place, but Jack Black killed it as singing "Hit Me, Baby, One More Time." I just want. I just please. I just hope um he can perform that song at the Oscars of 2025. Well, I don't think that's gonna happen, but. I don't really know if that's going to happen, just, like, because he didn't perform Peaches at the Oscars of this year. So, yeah. Um, also, Zen is a really great character, despite she's voiced by Aquafina. Um, yeah, she, Aquafina's in very an, a lot of animated movies. Um, yeah, and a, it's been getting controversial of that, but, like, I don't really mind. She's kind of like Chris Pratt, who he's literally in everything, like... First, he was in the Mario movie. Now, this year in May, he's going to voice Garfield in the Garfield movie. So, yeah. Um, I also like how they um, bring brought back the old some of the old characters. Like, Young, the... I think the villain from, like, the second movie of the dad. And also the little, the little like, this guy. I forgot what his name was, but... I remember he was in that one other movie and the other and the other three movies. Um so yeah. And this has really funny comedy. Yeah. It had funny comedy. Yeah, it had re really funny comedy and sadly there were no adult jokes in this movie. Yeah, sadly. No spoilers or right. but there weren't really adult jokes in this movie. Well, that's okay, I guess, because um, this is the most controversial um, Kung Fu Panda movie in the franchise. Like, yeah, guys. Despite it did well, it did pretty well at the box office. 
a lot of people did not like this movie. Calling it the worst one in the franchise. Hey, at least uh, at least it did well at the box office, but I've seen rants of saying, Oh, Kung Fu Panda 4 is mid. Kung Fu Panda 4 is that. This, that. In my, in my recommendations of videos, whenever I just get into YouTube and I'm like, Damn, are they really going that hard for Kung Fu Panda 4? And to be honest, I feel like they're gonna treat that f for like the Garfield movie too. But as for as for Inside Out two, if that movie's really really good, I think it will get positive feeds. Um, yeah, I I'm actually pretty shocked. Shit, I'm actually pretty shocked that this film is actually hated. This is actually from a beloved franchise and saying. This is a bad ending to a franchise. Like, seriously. Oh, yeah. I heard the news that um, DreamWorks... Hold on. Fuck. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, Inside Out too. Nice. Anyway. um, DreamWorks. All right. Yeah, y'all heard about this. Hang on. They're putting rumors that there are they're cutting off staff in the next coming up months, in the next months, in the next couple of months of this year, later this year. Like that's crazy. I mean, this is way worse than Pixar's situation. Before Elemental came out, um, because Pixar actually fired a couple in police. Now the DreamWorks is getting way worse. Is DreamWorks situation is worse than Pixar situation it had back then? Um, like that's crazy. I know pick. I know. I mean, DreamWorks' next film is gonna be the Wild Robot. That one looks amazing. I think that might win for best fi picture at the Oscars next year. Well, I don't really think, but. Please support this film and support the next DreamWorks film that is Wild Robot. Yeah, DreamWorks is getting pretty much in trouble. Thankfully, Pixar is not. But DreamWorks... I mean, it's a great company, but like... Their marketing of movies aren't that great. Because when they marketed Ruby Gilman... um. It that zero marketing, zero. Um. Also, trolls band together. That one was marketed because Dream was like, "Oh, we're just gonna market the trolls movies and not care anything about else." So done, beat it. And then Kung Fu Panda Four. I've been I've been hearing people saying that this movie got bad marketing. And. I don't really think that because I've seen a, a lot of TV spots for this movie whenever I was watching TV. Not on Nickelodeon, sadly. I wish, but I guess not. Um, yeah, it's, a pro it, it's sad to see that this movie is getting hate. Like, I mean, this is the most underrated one of the franchise, I mean. So, yeah. And let's talk about the characters. Poe is a, still a great character. Um, crap. Um... The chameleon, my gosh, she's so attractive, man. I mean, she's pretty attractive. No, for real. She's pretty attractive. Z Zen, who was voiced by Aquafina, also is a great character. Um, the three bunnies, I, I thank God they weren't that annoying, but they weren't really annoying. They were just there for a couple sec for a couple of scenes, like like how they did with Claude and Elemental last year with Pixar. So yeah. So overall Kung Fu Panda 4 is a great film and the best film out of the four Kung Fu Panda movies. Also I've been hearing rumors that they're going to make Kung Fu Panda 5 which I hope they can bring back the three the three guy, the three the three main like 
I know they spoiler alert, they I know that I saw in a music video where um the three the three main characters like they returned in the at the end of credits. No, this isn't really a spoiler because I saw it on YouTube. Um it's kind of like a YouTube music video about Hit Me Baby One More Time from Jack Black. Uh and so yeah. So overall, Kung Fu Panda 4 is a great film, and I'll give it a 10 out of 10. This is definitely not really my favorite animated movie. This is just the reason I just recently seen this. But if the Garfield movie or Inside Out 2 could be my favorite film, animated film of this year, or heck, even The Wild Robot or Moana 2. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and peace out, y'all.